Welcome back to Fishing with Norby, guys, out here on Gunnersville. Again, we, uh, we're sitting on top of a ledge right now. I got a couple special guests with me today. I got Joe Grafman. He's a Lake of the Ozarks guide. What's up, man? What's going on, everybody? How you doing? I'm good. Now I got Tyler. You have a YouTube channel? I am about to. Intuition Fishing. Intuition Fishing. So he's out here filming today, and these guys are going to Florida. They're on their way down to Florida. They're going to be guiding all winter long. Um, they, they guide on the, around the Ozarks. They're going to guide in Florida, and uh, that's going to be a killer job for the winter, guys. I'm pumped, that's dude. so Super cool. Down that way. Yeah, yeah, I might have to swing down, make a trip. But the, on their way down, they uh, they towed the boat. They stopped over in my place here, and we're out here on Lake Gunnersville today. So, got my boat. We pulled up on a ledge just now, and it was loaded with fish. It's late in the year; these fish are really hard to catch. But we're gonna try to catch them. So, let's get at them. All right, guys. So we just went over a ledge. Look at all those bass down there, tucked right next to the bottom. That's how you know they're bass. The the brighter colors and rounder rounder markings. Those are all bass. You might have a couple white bass mixed in. We went over a couple different spots on this ledge and saw a bunch of white bass, but we just hit the the tip of it, and that's where all those largies are sitting. You have one bump it? Isn't that crazy how they can do that? I know. I don't know how they don't get hooked. All right, so we're gonna start out deep cranking, and hopefully get a couple giants to come hit these. If not, I'm going to throw the drop shot at them because they were just loaded down there. You, you saw them. No takers on the deep crank. Yeah, cast on. Yeah, that's eagle, eagle grass. It's floating. It's not on the bottom. It's floating. So, some days when the wind's blowing the right direction, it blows in all this eelgrass. You can't fish anything but like a drop shot on this. Yeah. Because eelgrass just goes down your line if you throw a moving bait. You can throw a jig or something, but I haven't caught a fish on a jig on this lake on a ledge yet. Really? Yeah, it's weird. I'll catch them on this crawl bait up in grass. Yeah. But haven't on a ledge. Welcome. It went down about two feet. Punching it went about two feet. I apologize, guys. I should have. Oh, that one went like four feet. I bet there's some ch channels through this. It'd be killer to find some channels. They're loaded in. All right, guys. So we did not catch anything on that first ledge came up to a river bar here and we got some pretty thick grass right in the main river channel and I'm, I'm punching it Joe's frogging it and uh, Tyler's fishing the spinnerbait on the weed line hopefully we get a few that looks really good if you find a few active fish they should come crush it see how this thicker spot mm -hmm. is in through here like if I was a bass that's where I'd be, mm -hmm. be hanging out under that thicker stuff Starting to cool down a little bit finally. Yeah, oh, there's one. Yep. Right. That's why you come to Gunnersville. <laughs> <laughs> Giants right there. On the double fluke rig. Old donkey rig. I've been busting like crazy up there. One just picked it up. There we go. Another one. There we go. You have one blow up your frog? Yeah. Woo! Nice. A little better one. Look at him chasing up there, man. Woo!
There's one. Oh, shoot. We don't see any fish bust in here in a few. We'll move to the next one because there's not a ton of daylight. Yeah, see the grass? We're just getting on top of it. Oh my, I just picked a ton of fish. There's one. Oh, I missed the one that you just had bite probably. <laughs> I watched him come up and eat it like five feet from the boat. Yeah, I watched him turn sideways and suck it in and I'd set the hook before I even felt him. <laughs> uh, two years. Great hooks, man. You like them? Yeah. Have you ever used them? Uh, no, I haven't. Feel how sharp they are. It's, it's nuts, man. They're, I like them more than trocars. Good company get bit if that was a bass. Yep, at a baby. Now I'm going right over there because a lot of times there's like four of them. Good one. See him come out of the water to eat it? Nice belly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, good one, Joe. Biggest one of the night so far, about two pounder. Yes, sir. That'll work. You got one? Oh, you broke off too. <laughs> Man, y'all are breaking off. Good one, man. Gotta work. Well, we found a couple more, I'd say. Oh, oh boy. It's crazy how much they want these flukes. Dang. For a week straight, the spot was loaded. I pulled up here. There he is. Oh, good one. I was gonna say I pulled up for a half an hour and caught 30 bass one day. Uh, he's not that big. There's one though. Good fat bass. All these bass are fat out here. There's a two and a half. Nice. Mm -hmm. Yep, chunk. There you go, guys. Two, two and a half pounder. On the crankbait. We were just about to leave. Feel like we you got smoked that's good cool see that oh good one jumper okay He's swimming right towards me. I can't tell how big he is. Yeah. There we go. Yeah, he's super fat. Super fat little guy. Pretty little guy. Let's see, buddy. No, it's not windy enough. Spot lock would drive me nuts if I did it right now. Because it'd be like turning in circles Yellow bass. oh I just got smoked he's not very big but man he smoked me gosh <laughs> look how tiny he is <laughs> all right here we go coming back out to main lake hump Throw some flukes on, try to catch some active bass. The ones out in the deeper grass with those cranks. We caught a few, but they weren't they weren't the right size and they're few and far between. So let's see if we can find some active bass in this grass. One just smacked it. There he is. Yep. Close to the boat. Back us off a little bit. Yeah, that's a decent one. There's a two and a half. Okay. Smacked it and he missed it and I let it sit there and I watched him eat it the second time. Yeah, that's beautiful. Look at that. Beautiful. See ya. 
<laughs> I seen it come back, I was right here and I was like, oh, get out of the way. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, there's one. Yep. Oh, get over there. Oh, there's more with him. There's more with him. Cast right over there. One of you. Oh, yes. Look at that. Dang. These are good ones. These are good ones. Okay, okay. Two and a quarter. Yep, we'll take him. Right at dusk. I gotta get out another fluke. Just tearing these up. Just straight towards that other boat. following you. Just yours? Following yours? No, yours. Oh, while I was reeling it in? Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know. I did, too. They're traveling schools out here. That's why you gotta get... Like, if somebody gets bit, you gotta cast there as soon as you can. The heron is not happy. There we go. Oh, there's one. Right over there. Yep. And another one. Andrew's putting the smack down on me. <laughs> They're smoking. They're like two better than one. They do like a couple of them. I, uh, I was throwing that and I said, well, they're hitting one, they'll hit two. And I haven't gone back. <laughs> yeah. So I'm loving this rig. And you will catch two on it at once, which is what's sweet. See, I had another one on, <laughs> on that cast right there. Cause I didn't, I didn't have a, yeah, it's pulled down. I had two on on that cast, I think. Oh, there's one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's a decent one there. It's fighting hard at least. They fight so hard. <laughs> He's a humpback, that's why. Got me. Oh, hump daddy. <laughs> Look at that. Big ol' arch on him. Yep. Oh, he get off. There you go, Joe. Man, that's a stud. That's a stud. Stutter. Yep. Biggest one of the night, I think. Nice. Oh, oh. That's where it's at. Good one, buddy. Decent one, man. That fish is probably around three. Oh, yeah. Good one. Chunk. Yummy. Chunk. There he goes. Okay, guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. We had a blast out there. Um, caught most of them on flukes tonight. In shallow grass, that was the deal. Caught the bigger ones that way. Uh, it's hard to find the giants right now. We did graph over a ton of big ones at the start there on a, on a main lake. Uh, ledge and we just couldn't get them to bite. They're being so finicky those ledge bass have been beat up from April to now and You're lucky to catch a couple out of a school like that and then they shut off But we didn't even we didn't even get hit Joe said he got hit once on a crankbait I think but I didn't even get hit so we're gonna go out the next few outings are gonna be with these guys So I hope you enjoy that drop me a comment if there's something you want to see or something you want to know more about and uh, Yeah, hope you enjoyed watching fishing with Norby. We'll see you guys